And welcome back to Rural America Live. I'm Mark Oppold, and we introduce a new name, new products tonight, Terraganics. If you've not hear, heard about the name, it's not unusual if you were in the midsection of the country, but we hope by the end of the hour, you'll have a better idea of the great, great products they have. Ag 1000, we'll talk a lot about tonight, already have. In fact, we have one of their customers on the line now. It is Louis Salopec. I hope I'm saying that right. He's a pecan grower from Las Cruces, New Mexico. And Louis, are you with us tonight? I am, Mark. How are you doing? Hey, we're doing great. Thanks for joining us in New Mexico. Uh, tell us about uh, your operation there and the, and growing pecans. Well, I'm the youngest of four brothers, and the Salopec family goes back to farming in the Mesilla Valley for 70, 80 years. We've been with the pecan industry for about 40 years, 50 years. And me and my brothers farm close to 1,200 acres of pecan trees. And they're anywhere from five years old to over 40 years old. Wow. And Eric was uh, sharing uh, some results of using Ag 1000 on pecans and showing what you, uh, clusters. Uh, I think one of those pictures actually came from your operation. Uh, tell us about the success you've had with Ag 1000. Well, let me tell you, as far as those clusters, as a pecan grower, and I know every pecan grower in the United States, you really don't want a cluster that is that huge with the 50, 60, 70, but what we're seeing is a lot more of those randomly. But what you want is instead of a four, five, six cluster, you want a five, six, seven cluster, and we're seeing a lot of that. Yeah. So Eric is here too, Eric Lancaster. I think he has a question for you too, Louie. I was kind of wondering sure. what else, you know, what else could you describe that you're seeing on your operation besides those those clusters? Because those clusters have been kind of they they were almost a bit of an entertaining entertaining factor last year when they were all shellacked and put in the office. Yeah, no, that's that's the cool part. Like I said, seeing the uh, little bigger clusters, but what we first saw was the deep dark green color of the leaves when we first started applying it, and then the leaf size gets bigger. And of course, listening to the to Amber and Eric, you got a bigger leaf, you got a deep, dark, greener leaf. It's going to perform better. And then the Ag 1000 helping set a little better cluster with all your clusters will will add up. Well, how, now uh, for those viewers and, and listeners here, this is Mark Oppold again, uh, Louis. Sure, Mark. Uh, tell us about the uh, rate that you use, and and uh, did you just did you uh, I want to say. Uh, grab a hold of the Ag 1000 right away, or was it something you needed to test? Uh, a lot of folks out there hearing it for the first time. How would you, uh, what would you tell to those folks that are watching and listening about the product and how to use it in their farm and operation? Well, what you want to do first of all is commit for minimum three, four years. That's what mm -hmm. you got to do is commit from the beginning. As far as the usage, you're going to want to put it up in the foliar and you're gonna to wanna to put it down in the soil. As far as applications, our soil, we put 25 to 50 gallons plus down in the soil, and we foliar feed up to 25 gallons or more. And the, com the combination is just exciting. It really is exciting. Okay, one other thing that you know is really uh, an issue down south is the salts. And I uh, was wondering if you wanted to bring up some of your experience that you've seen with the salts. You know what, on the salts, we got a bunch of case studies already. And and like I said, you got to commit. You got to commit for a few, at least for a few years of test studies. But salts, we already have it all case study documented. Your salts drop, your organic matters go up. And like Amber was saying earlier, um, your soil health, if you got your soil health good, your roots, the, the plant's going to perform a lot better. Mm -hmm. Well, Louie, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate the time from La Cruces, New Mexico. It's a uh, pleasure to visit with you, and uh, great that you could join us for these few minutes. Hey, Mark, can I ask one more thing? Sure. Ask everybody to eat pecans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and, and uh, from the farm there, from the uh, Salopec farm, is that right? Well, from pecans in general. All from right. Pecans. <laughs> You're a great and sport. Organics and Eric and that whole group's a great, great, great people to work with. Well, they sure are. We sure enjoying having them in our family here at RFD-TV and Rural Radio. Louie, thanks again. 
Hope to get down to see you sometime. Uh, Louis Salopec uh, from La Cruces, New Mexico. A great example uh, that you hear a lot. You don't get tired of hearing that kind of thing, I'm sure, Eric, from users that have that kind of success. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Very good. I want to give our telephone number. We'll be uh, hopefully hearing from you. We have other uh, users uh, around the country, a chili pepper uh, breeder coming up a little bit later. But our toll-free number, lines open for you, 877